Question, the member for Scarborough Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My, my question is to the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sports. Since the beginning of May, the, Guild, the Writers Guild of America has been on strike. This strike by the screenwriter is having an impact on film and television shows in the United States. It, it is a concern that strike in America will have a negative impact on film and television industry in Ontario. With many production that are filmed in Toronto, we know that these projects help to support our economy. Speaker, can the minister please tell us if the strike in America will affect the film and television industry in Ontario? And to reply, Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, myself. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the uh, member from Scarborough Centre for the question and recognizing that that might be an issue. But last year, our domestic film and television productions were very strong, uh, contributing over $1.2 billion to Ontario's economy, an increase of 25% over the previous year. Uh, our homegrown creativity and, and talent and self-reliance gives us a measure of insulation from external factors like the U.S. writer's strike. But I have a little story, Speaker, and I, I won't make it long. About two weeks ago, I was at one of Ontario's outstanding world-class destinations for tourism, the ROM, at a reception. And on my way walking back later in the evening, I, there was quite a, quite a bit going on in the park outside. So I wandered over and see what was going on. And there were lights and Aunt. so many people. It was production, TV production, yeah. Mr. Speaker, outside, workers working, Talent running around, watching it happen is pretty special. Thank you. A supplementary question. I thank the minister for his answer. It's good news to know that our local film and television industry is strong at this time. However, it is important to look to the future as well. It is great to hear that this industry helped with job creation and helped grow Ontario's economy. But we need to make sure that this industry will continue to grow in the future. Speaker, can the minister please tell us how our government is supporting more film and television production made in Ontario? Mr. Tourism, Culture and Sport. Again, I'd like to uh, thank the member for the question. And firsthand, uh, lots of meetings have gone on in the last five or six months about talking about production and talking about what's going on in our province, and it's an industry that's thriving, Mr. Speaker. Um, we are supporting the film and television thanks to the leadership of our Premier and the Minister of Finance with more than $814 million budgeted towards three film and television tax credits for 2023. This draws people to our province to do their productions from the United States, Mr. Speaker. This drives business, drives jobs. Not talking about the talent, but the jobs, the careers, Mr. Speaker. It's not just getting someone in for working for a day, it's long-term careers. Thanks to many of the people within our ministry, or in our, I'm sorry. Response? In, uh, what, do we call, what do we call this thing? Our, our, our party? Yeah. Our party drives jobs, Mr. Minister, or Mr. Speaker, and uh, the film industry is the beneficiary of it, as is television. Thank you.